Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we're actually back with the build of the Transporter Bridge. And as you guys can see, this thing is in a new area. We're actually at the multiplayer island right now because Endo Skull, the other YouTuber that does this game, uh, actually give me a modded workbench for this area, and honestly it is big enough to actually fit a lot of this in. So, what we've actually managed to do is have this whole section in the middle, uh, up to these beams right here, be one section, as well as the legs on both sides, and then all we had to do was add these triangles on the end, and that was it. Luckily for me, that has actually made it way, way easier to actually fit this all together. The other thing that I've actually done in that time as well is I've actually tried to attach some of these guys together, um, but honestly, the detailing on the legs is going to be really tricky to do, so I don't think I'm going to do that today. However, what we are going to do today is actually work on the gondola, so let's get to it, shall we? Okie dokie, so this is actually how big I wanted it to be originally, and I don't think it can actually be this big anymore. Reason being is because we need it to fit between the legs on the transporter. So what I'm going to do now is actually save this as... Uh, gondola? Is that how you spell it? I don't know. We're gonna load up the together bridge, here we go, and we're gonna see what the spacing is like, um, on this piece. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but let's go ahead and see. So, it needs to fit within this, so the entire gondola needs to be 31 blocks wide. Maximum. Okay, so how wide is this one? It is 35, so we need to delete, like, four off each end, there we go, or two off each end, I should say, and now it should be 31. Wait, is that correct? I think that is correct. 31. Nice. Okay, so this is how big it actually is going to be, which uh, is fine. Uh, we should still be able to fit quite a lot on it, but instead of it being a three-lane thing, it's going to have to be a two-lane thing instead. Okay, so first things first, what I'm going to do is delete these guys right here and replace it with this. Uh, essentially, this is going to be the support for the underside, and I don't mind leaving it essentially as it is, uh, but I do want it to change slightly, so... Let's go ahead and try and figure this out, shall we? That's going to go right here like so. Oh, no, not quite. Hang on. We're very close. <laughs> We're very close. There we go. That one's going to go there. This one's going to go right here if I can. There we go. And then we're going to do this guy and this guy as well. And then I think I'm actually going to attach all these guys together. Kind of like this. It's a little bit strange, but I think it will look good in the end. Okay, so from there, we're actually going to have a, um, not a white gondola, but actually like a grey gondola, uh, because I think that makes some sense. Let's go ahead and smash this onto here like so. There we go. This is going to be the passenger portion. Um, I might even make it slightly wider than I was going to. So it's going to be three wide instead of two. And that's just going to go to there like so. So you get into this via some doors. That'll be okay. From there, we're actually going to go ahead and get black. Here we go. And this is going to be the road section. So if we can whack that all the way across the middle. Let's go ahead and get ourselves some sort of goldy yellow color to paint the line in the center. Uh, we'll do this, and we'll do this. And you know what, we'll just keep doing this backwards until it looks okay, which honestly, I think it will. Uh, once we get back there, there we go, nice. Okay, cool. That's pretty sick. So that is our road. I kind of want it to be the same on both sides though, so that's kind of wrong. Kind of wrong, but that's okay. So if we do this to there, this to here, and this to here, we can then sort of just leave it kind of like that in the center. That's actually fine. Yeah. Okay, that's not actually too bad, so we'll leave that kind of as is. From there, what I want to do is get some fluid ports and essentially just add the fluid ports uh, as a flooring in here. So let's go ahead and get this color, smack it into there like so, and we should be able to essentially just build these along uh, if we want to, which uh, I do. So there we go. We'll do that all the way to there. We'll then turn it around and we'll do this bit all the way this way, and hopefully that'll look good, which I think it will. So there we go. Nice. Okay, from there, what I want to do is actually paint this little section like so. We're then going to go to the other end and do the same thing. There we go. Very nice. And we're going to put those guys in there. Okay, so far, so good. Gondola, looking pretty cool. Alright, so if you guys have seen the one in real life, essentially there is some supports for this. There you go. Uh, but a lot of the outside is actually just glass. So we're going to go ahead and build these guys up like this. There we go. We're going to do it quite high, but not too, too high. There we go, just like this. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other end, so I don't know how high it is. Uh, but let's go ahead and do this across the top here, so we know. There we go, do this and this. And then I don't know where I'm actually going to supposed to be lining this up, but 
I think just after this guy, so probably there. There we go, good. And then we're going to do it online. Oh, no, just after that one. There we go. And this one is going to be in line with this one. There we go. And I think we're correct there. Uh, I feel like we are. Nice. In the center, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this, and that looks A-OK. -okay. All right, so the new thing that we need then is actually some windows. So if we can fit these guys in, we're going to do it. There we go. Those guys could go in there like this. I'm actually going to go ahead and make them all like black surrounds because I feel like that's probably for the best. There we go. And we're going to do it right here as well. So I'm going to do it at least too high. Um, I don't believe there are actually any seats on the inside of this. So I think it's for the best that we just, we just do windows pretty much all the way across. Wait, that's not right. That, that one's not correct, which means one of these other ones is also not correct. I'm not sure which one, though. Okay, let's do this real quick. There we go. Then this one is actually correct. There we go. Good. And then, oh, is it two? Two that are not the same. Okay, no, that's fine. Good. Okay, so two by threes. Let's go ahead and smash these guys in as well. There we go. Those guys can go there and there, there and there. That's very nice. And from here, what I want to do is delete all of these guys. There we go. I'm then going to go ahead and grab this color again. We're going to do this up three. There we go. We're going to do it again. Actually, do four. Do four. Yes. Okay, we're then going to do it again. Okay, very nice. We're going to do it again and again and again. <laughs> Slowly but surely we'll get there. And again. Okay, not quite right, but there you go. And again. There we go. So we're going to have windows going up the sideways this time. And there we go. Okay, windows are all in. That's very nice. Let's then go ahead and do this kind of thing. Here we go. Very lovely. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and send this across here like so. And we'll give it a little bit of a roof before we build the roof in for the rest of it. Now, the rest of it is actually sort of open. So we're going to go ahead and do this. There we go. And that is a-okay. So far, this is actually looking pretty sick. Okay, actually, instead of these guys, let's go ahead and delete those real quick. There we go. Uh, delete this as well. Oh, no, actually. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, delete this. No, don't. Don't. We're going to have to keep it. We're actually going to have to keep it, but that's fine. So, grab this from here all the way across to the other end. There we go. Just like so. Go to this end as... Oh, no. That's not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to work for what I wanted. Go ahead and copy this. Okay, good. Move it across to this piece right here. Paste it. Oh, but turn it around first. There we go. Nice. Okay, lovely. Paste that in right there. Turn it around again, bring it to this side, push it that way one, just one, there we go, paste it in, and that's good, yes. And there we go, we got all the windows in on this side now as well. All we got to do now is actually position some windows in here, so we'll actually just do two, and then I'm going to go ahead and fill in this bit like so. Uh, that bit being filled in is actually fine, so we'll leave it as is. We're then going to go to this end as well, and do this. So there's one, two, and delete this, this, and this. Fill all of these guys in. There we go. And that is mighty fine. Um, now, I'm not entirely sure whether you walk in this way. It's been a long time since I've actually been on the bridge. Um, but I'm not entirely sure if you walk in that way or whether you walk in through this bit. I'm not sure. Uh, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter as long as it works. So I'm just going to put the door here. And there we go. We got doors on both ends now. So that is actually pretty sick, to be honest. That is... This is better than I was expecting it to look, to be, to be completely honest with you guys. Anyway, so that we don't actually impact the size of vehicle that can actually go on this too much, um, we're going to go ahead and start building up from here. So do one, two, three, four, maybe? Yeah, let's go with four. Uh, we're going to do four right here as well. There we go. And this is where we actually start our new bridge. Uh, our new bridge, our new roof, I should say. So that is what we're going to do here. Build up all of those. One, two, three, and four. There we go. One, two, three, and four. And then I guess if I can, I want to like cross them over each other. Uh, but I feel like that's kind of a difficult thing to do. You know, like a little bit anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ah, oh, it doesn't look too, too bad. So we'll do it again, and we'll do it again, and we'll do it again. Oh, that's not going to work. That isn't actually going to work everywhere. Because these middle sections are different sizes to the rest of it. Yikes. Okay, that's fine. Um, we can probably get away with just doing... I don't know, actually. I don't really know. I don't really know. Let's just go ahead and do that guy right there. Do this guy towards it. Down towards it. There we go. And then do these guys as well, obviously. I think we're just going to have to build them in like this. 
Which is a little bit annoying, but at the same time, I guess that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, canopy is going on now. So, uh, it's actually relatively flat to begin with. So, let's go ahead and build this out like so. And build it all the way across to... I don't know, here. There we go. Good. So, we're then going to do this guy as well. There we go. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave the side piece with this guy as well. There we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and then build this in uh, using these ones. And that's all we need. So, do this upwards uh, towards the center like so. Uh, only once. There we go. And then switch it to this guy. And then, honestly, that is that is all I really want, to be, to be fair. So, there you go. All right. The height of the vehicles is restricted by the height of this, which is completely fine because this is actually quite high. Anyway, let's go and do this all the way across to here. There we go. Good. Then do this one as well across to here. There we go. Good. And we're going to have to do the underside as well. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Here we go. Just so it looks nice. We need it to look nice. Uh, all the way there. There we go. Good. And then this one. There we go! Yes! All the way across to here! Bam! Okay, cool. So from there, we're gonna go ahead and just fill all this in. There we go. And that looks a-okay. That actually looks really cool. Uh, not as cool as I wanted it to look, to be honest. But it still looks good. And now for the, uh, the slightly interesting bit. Um, I don't know where's central on this. There isn't really a central position, uh, as, as such. Uh, but that's okay. We're going to use this slot as the central bit. There we go. So we're going to go out about three, probably four that way. There we go. We're going to build that across. And then go one, two, three, four. There we go. And then go across there. I'm going to box this in this way a little bit. This way as well. There we go. We're going to leave the sides open. And essentially, this is where the driver is going to go. I say the driver. Um, I don't know what you call someone that pilots a bridge or that drives a bridge. I'm not sure, <laughs> uh, but that's going to go right there so that we can actually see them, uh, and that would be awesome, yeah. And there we go, okay, so I mean that's not exactly how I would want it to look, but I think it's going to look good underneath the bridge. With that being said as well, I feel like we also need some sort of gate system on this. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do about it though. I don't know whether I should have them just open up and allow people to drive off that way, or whether we should do something else. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Or, or we can maybe have them lift up. I, I really don't know. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and delete these right here, get ourselves some pivots, and essentially uh, we'll have some pivots be able to open up the doors. So I'm going to delete that guy as well, which seems a little strange, but sure. There you go. We're going to do that right there. And on the other side, we're going to do the exact same thing. So it's going to go right here. And then essentially, all we need to do is have something open the doors. So, Rocket Boosters is my first port of call. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Actually, no, uh, not that color. I want it to be the same as the floor. There we go. One, two, three, and probably only three. Probably only three. Yep. We're then going to go ahead and paint the center one that color. And the bottom of this is going to be that color, obviously. Okay, so um, we're then going to go ahead and attach this guy to the top like this. I'm going to get ourselves some uh, rails. Rails? Are they called rails? Yes, they are. And I'm going to do this. There's one. There's two. We can't really do anything in the center, but that's okay. And I'm going to do this going downwards. One, two, as well. There we go. Okay, if we can, let's go ahead and attach these guys together. Oh, man. There we go. Those guys look good right there like that. And we're going to do the same thing right here like this. Okay. If I could, I would add something in the center as well, but I'm not sure what would... What's going to help this? I don't really know. I don't really know at all. Uh, I might just do that. I might actually just leave it like that. I know it's a little bit odd, but I think it'll work. It's going to look strange with these guys opening as well, but it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's going to be okay. So grab each and every one of these. Go ahead and turn around. Move it to the other side and paste it on. And then hopefully we can actually allow this to work. There you go. So merge this guy with this. And then I don't know where the button's going to go to actually open these guys up. Because in real life, this is sort of manual um, kind of stuff. But that's okay. Uh, in fact, so we'll just put it in the floor. Here we go. So toggle button. Go ahead and smash that in like that. So there we go. Do the same thing on this end. And then we actually need... Um, what do we need? We need a switch box. Okay, switch box. Here we go. Go to the underside. We're going to have to have one there. And we're going to have to have one over here. Uh, there we go. Okay. 
So connect this to there and also there. Then connect this to here. There we go. And then do the same thing on this side. Uh, from you to you to you to you. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then essentially all we need to do is make this on value 1. And then on the other side, on value 1. And hopefully that works. There we go. Just want it in. Where is it going to be? Hey, there it is. Nice. That actually looks sick. I think I've done a brilliant job with this. And there we go. They actually open up in the right direction as well. That is fantastic. I think this actually looks a lot like what I wanted it to look like. Amazing. Okay, so one of the final things I actually want to do then is actually go to the roof of this. We then need some rope anchors in order for this to actually be a thing. Uh, and then we can actually allow it to work. So we'll do one, two, uh, three, and four, which means we've got eight. Which means we need eight uh, winches on the actual thing, which we might have, question mark? Maybe. Not sure. Alright, so there aren't lights at the minute or anything like that, but uh, we have doors that do actually open. I say doors, we have uh, we have these, uh, which are pretty cool to be totally honest with you guys. They, they do work, so that's good. Uh, but we do need lights on this thing. We need a way to get into the actual cockpit thing above. Um, but it does actually somewhat look cool. And this is it, below the bridge. Yeah! Oh, this is sick! This is actually so cool. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, and I should say, just after this video sort of ended, um, do make sure to check out Endoskull's, Endoskull's channel. Um, he did save me actually quite a bit with this build because that workbench has saved a lot of effort going into this. It is crazy how much time I spend trying to get the legs to fit in the specific place that they needed to fit. But now we don't have to worry about that. So I want to say thank you to Endo. And he will be linked down below. Anyway, go check him out. See ya!